Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss five snap changes in 2022. Now, starting in January, a lot of new states, new legislation begins, which includes increased welfare benefits, the purchase of feminine products and diapers, with your EBT card and 10F child support policy changes. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girls got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that mama. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I enjoy doing it. Now, before we begin with the food stamp changes, in a few weeks, a lot of us will be creating our New Year's resolutions. You know what I'm talking about, that New Year, New Me verbiage. Guys, this year, I really want you to win financially. Thank you, Stash, for sponsoring this video. Last year, I downloaded the Stash app because I wanted to invest in the money that I was making from YouTube, and I had a few extra dollars from my tax refund. Now, as a newbie investor, I did not deposit anything for the first month. I just kind of wanted to get the feel of the app and just kind of research the app. Surprisingly, it was very easy to navigate, which made me more comfortable in parting ways with my money. That's the benefit of Stash. You can invest at your own pace, whatever that may be. And you don't need a lot of money to start investing. There are three simple plans that will help you invest and save like a boss. Now, I've accumulated a nice chunk of money within the past 10 months from my initial $5 investment. Stash also has a special offer exclusive to my viewers. You'll receive a $50 bonus if you download Stash using my link below and deposit as little as $1. Click the link in the description or pin YouTube comment to sign up for Stash today. All right, guys. $50. So do not go into another year without investing in your financial future. Just go to stash.com forward slash start dash investing forward slash Chalet Morgan to sign up and Stash will give you $50. So stop putting it off and join the five plus million people who know that it's never too late to invest in yourself. Once again, go to stash.com start investing Chalet Morgan. Let's go ahead and kick things off with feminine hygiene products because last spring, lawmakers looked to expand SNAP and WIC benefits to buy feminine hygiene products. Considering the purchase of period products are not covered under any federally funded program and they are taxed, the U.S. Department of Agriculture allowed states to submit a waiver that would permit SNAP and WIC benefit recipients to use their benefits to purchase menstrual hygiene products. So pretty much this means you can use your EBT card and now you can buy menstrual products. Now we all know that menstrual hygiene products are essential for millions of women in communities across the country and they should be widely available at little or to no cost, but not every state apply for this waiver. The following states have been approved and this will begin on January 1st of 2022. The first state we're headed to is Pennsylvania. The Pennsylvania Menstrual Health Equity Act which will require schools, colleges, shelters, agencies that provide food and housing assistance, correctional facilities at the local, state, and federal government level, and any program that supports people of low socioeconomic status to provide free disposable menstrual products in all restrooms. This is being referred to as the Lilly's Bill, which will require schools to provide products of at least two different absorbencies. Also, Illinois passed this bill as well, but they passed three different house bills. The first house bill is 641, which will require the board of trustees at colleges and universities to determine the funding that they need to meet this new requirement of putting free period products in all campus bathrooms. This went into effect immediately. The next house bill is House Bill 310, the Feminine Hygiene Products for Homeless Act. Now, this will require like homeless shelters that any place that grants like temporary housing assistance to women or youth to provide products such as sanitary napkins, tampons, and even panty liners at no cost at all if their budget allows it. And in Illinois, they have House Bill 155, which will require the Illinois Department of Human Services 
to apply for this waiver with the USDA. And this actually is what paved the way for the recipients of SNAP and WIC to use the two programs for diapers and menstrual products as well. So you can use your EBT card for those items beginning on January 1st of 2022. Now, many American families are having a hard time finding diapers right now during the pandemic for their infants, for their toddlers, because we're in a pandemic, right? But it is stated that one in three families are in need of this baby item. So the U.S. Senators introduced the In Diaper Need Act of 2021, which will provide like resources to assist low and middle income families access to diapers and to help ensure the well-being and the health of those that rely on them. So this would be like diapers for infants, children, anyone that's medically complex, children with disabilities, and even adults with disabilities. The In Diaper Act of 2021 is gonna build off the COVID-19 Diaper Assistant Act, which will provide about $200 million in funding for four years through the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Let's go ahead and move on to the 10F child support payment changes. Now, Mississippi has enacted a policy that will allow low-income single parents to keep some more moolah in their pockets. To qualify for most public assistance programs, single parents, usually women, must sue their kids' non-custodial parent for child support payments. Now, if you have received cash assistance through a program known as TANF or Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, the state seizes those child support dollars to pay back the money for providing you welfare. You know how this works. We already know how it goes. This means that some moms never even see the child support money and pretty much it's like the fathers are paying this money to the state. But in November, Mississippi started allowing a child support pass through of a hundred dollars according to the joint legislative committee now this new pass through means that a separated parent who has been on welfare will receive at least the first one hundred dollars in child support before the state can take out the rest of the money additionally the state will not count this hundred dollars as income so it should not affect any of your eligibility at all for public assistance now not only is mississippi doing this there are 28 other states that will allow a pass through starting January 1st of 2022. But we also have increased TAN F payments. Now the cost of living in nearly every part of the country has increased, particularly in cities since former President Bill Clinton signed the TAN F program into law in 1996. And this was part of his welfare reform agenda. The TAN F program provides cash assistance to pregnant women, parents with dependent children, or even children that are leaving, living with their relatives. So you remember like in Texas, they gave out $1,000 from TANF. To be eligible, you must meet the financial requirements and you still have to be searching for work. But Senator Malcolm Kenyatta, he's a North Philadelphia candidate in the 2022 U.S. Senate race. He introduced a bill that would increase TANF benefits by 50% of the federal poverty level from 22%. So then he also wanted where it will require a annual adjustment based on inflation. So I don't know if you know this, but TANF has not been increased in over 30 years. And right now, like a family of three receives about $403 per month. But you know, and I know, you can't live off that, right? It's not enough money to survive on. But if 10F benefits had been adjusted for inflation, then that same family of three would be getting $832 today. Now, there's no start date for this increase, what he wants to do, but T Mississippi did increase their 10F benefits by $90 in July of 2021. And that's it guys. I'm sure as 2022 begins, we will start to see more changes in EBT and TANF, but you can also use 2022 to start investing in yourself and sign up for Stash today. You can click the link down in my description box and I'll also have a pinned comment. And as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye guys. And let me know what you think about all these changes. Are you excited? I know I am.